Hey everyone, it's me, Kirk Maston, and uh, due to a lot of requests, I'm going to show you this way that I edit film scans, and I think it's really uh, fast and effective, and it has allowed me to not have to go into Photoshop for any reason, which saves a lot of time. So basically, if you hit the J key, you kind of you kind of show where all of the highlights and shadows clip in the picture. So when I hold down the J key, you see the red here and the blue here. So the red is where uh, things are pure white, and the blue is where things are pure black. So if I let go, the J key it disappears. So here's how I've been editing. I hold down the J key, and all I do is work within the histogram uh, picture up here in the corner. And as you slide your cursor over it, you'll activate uh, everything from the blacks to the shadows to the exposure to the highlights to the whites. And I start at the shadows. So just by clicking the shadows and then moving my mouse to the left, I start to darken the shadows of my picture and they turn blue when they clip to black. So you can see them like turning blue as they get blacker and blacker. So what I do is I just start sliding that down until I start clipping some blacks in, in the film scan. And you can see the blue areas. And then I go to the next section on the histogram that's called shadows. And the whole time I'm holding the J key down. Uh, so while holding the J key, I then go onto shadows and start pulling it to the right. And this actually starts to unblock the shadows and take the blue away. So you can see the blue starting to disappear. So I take, almost, I take either all the blue away or most of it. Um, it kind of depends on the picture, but you want to just like start taking that blue away and unblock the, the pure black shadows. So now I'm to the exposure. This is just kind of the general exposure for the photo. Um, if I feel, they call this density, or this is what you would call density on a scanner. It's kind of the overall brightness of the, of the frame. Um, so with right here you can kind of play with that, but I'm, I'm just going to leave it where it is. And then you move on to, then you go all the way to the other side, to the white side. Now I'm going to go and click on the whites. And as I start to move the, the, my mouse right to make the whites brighter, you see them start to clip. So I'm going to just like let them clip a little bit in the picture, like around the windows where it's really bright and I know it's bright. And then I'm going to move back and go to highlights and start to reduce them until they're basically gone in the picture. And then I'm going to let go of the J key. So this is the adjusted scan and this is the unadjusted scan. Adjusted, unadjusted. And from here you can then do, you know, white balance um, you know, however you like, so, you know, and cool it down or warm it, warm it up. But the main thing is that it, this is a quick way to get the tones just right. So, and, and also keep it really subtle. That's the hardest thing is you want to keep the film look, uh, well, this is film. So that means you don't really want to, you want to have dark blacks and bright whites, but you don't want to really clip too far because then you start to make the image look like digital. So I'm going to just go quick now through a few other examples, just holding down the J key. So push the J key, do the blacks. You can see around Jeremy's suit is starting to get a little bit, um, it's, you're starting to see that blue color. So I'm going to go add some blue by bringing the blacks way down. Then I'm going to go to the shadow area on the histogram and pull to the right, start to take them away. And then I'm going to go to the whites on the far right of the histogram. I'm going to now increase those until we see red. So I know the sky, you know, way up there is, you know, that's like going to be pure white. Um, then I go to the highlights, which is next to the white section, and then I pull back down. And it's done. So this is the after. This is the before. This is the after. This is the before, this is the after. So not a huge change, but in my opinion, it's the, it's the final polish on a film scan to make it look how I like my scans to look, to, to pop and to have really good,
highlights and shadows and get a really nice full tonal range without starting to make it look like digital. Um, I'm going to do a few more here so you can kind of see how this works again. Hold down the J key, go to the blacks, start pulling the blacks down till we get a little bit of blue in there, blue indicating that it's clipped, it's totally black. And then I'm going to go to the shadow section, pull that back out, get rid of the blue. Then I'm going to go to the white section, start moving that until we start to clip on the dress a little bit. Go back to the highlight section right behind that, pull it back down, and there you go. And this image is a little bit magenta, so then I would probably just take a few points towards green on the uh, white balance, but whatever. And so there's the after image, the finished image. This is before, this is after, this is before. And after. So not a huge change, but I think it really brings out the best in a scan. I'll do one more to show you how it works with an image that has got a lot of flair. Um, it still works really, really well in my opinion for quickly toning an image. So just hold down the J key, pull the blacks down until we see some blue. Um, these are full 35 millimeter scan frame scans, so they're scanning beyond the actual frame of the picture. So that's why we've got some extra clipping where part of this isn't even actually the, the picture, it's just like the scanner scanning past the picture. So I'm, I'm pulling the blues down until I see it somewhere actually in the photo itself and not just along the side. So we've got some black or some clipping in the, in the shadows there and then I'm going to pull it back and then I'm going to go to the whites and I'm going to pull that to the right until we see clipping in the actual picture. Again, the big red border is just because this is scanning past the actual 35 frames. So starting to see some clipping in the sky, I pull it back. And then this image needs kind of an overall density adjustment, so I'll go right in the middle here and pull it up just a little bit. And yeah, there we go. Um, so it's kind of warm, cool it off, add a little green. So there's the after, this is before, this is after, this is before, and this is after. And I'm going to go do one more just so everyone can really see how this works. And this time I'm going to do a black and white image because I think it works really good for that too. Um, let's see here, just do this image here, I'm going to uh, reset it, so this is the original, I'm going to hold down the J key, slide it until we start to clip a little bit in the blacks, this is especially important black and white, uh, so this is a triax scan. Uh, go to the shadows, and I'm gonna, I'm, I hardly had to pull, pull the shadows back at all, and that blue disappeared. Then I'm going to go to the highlights, or the, or the whites section in the histogram up at the top. Pull to the right until we get some clipping. There's a little bit of clipping in the picture frame here, and in, in Jeremy's collar, um, and in his sleeve there. And then I'm going to pull back the highlights again until that pretty much is gone. And then I'm going to look and see, do I want to make an overall density adjustment? Um, yeah, just a little tiny bit. And there you go. Um, I still have to take the, the dust spots off of here with my uh, cloning tool, but just ignore that. So that's the, the toned Tri-X picture. This is before. This is after. Not a huge change, but again, if you change it too much, it doesn't, in my opinion, doesn't really look like film anymore. Uh, this is before, and this is after. So anyway, I hope you liked that little demonstration. If you have any questions, just uh, contact me wherever this video is posted and uh, ask, and I'll try to clarify. So, 
All right, thanks. Oh, and be sure to go to mastinlabs.com. I also make these incredible uh, film emulation presets for Lightroom and Adobe Camera Raw, and it will allow you to match all of your film and digital together so that when you shoot a wedding like I do as a hybrid photographer, you can get everything to match and look super awesome um, without any fuss. So, yeah, thanks for watching.